Good to go. Um, so for my team, my team name that I came up with was Street Center. Um, so the aim that we had on the weekend, I say we, we, <laughs> the royal we, was to analyze road defect data that was outstanding on the council website. So um, table back to how I started yesterday, I started by scraping data off of um, the council or anything like that, and I got into more of a kind of clean format that showed when, uh, what types of defects there were, when they were reported, if they'd been assessed, or when they'd expected to be assessed, and potentially when uh, they were expected to be repaired. So I took that kind of clean and put it into a format, and the good thing we picked up by this website, and it has a couple of little stats at the top with the outstanding defects number, um, the oldest defect that's on there, the most common defect that's out there, um, which I've been seeing the map underneath, which I've now changed the colour coding of the clustering so it doesn't colour code in any of the clustering underneath, and the number just means the amount of points that are in that area at the moment. Um, so you can see actually if I zoom into this one, there's three road related issues that have been reported in this same area that could potentially be duplicates. Um, so that's where the value of the cluster comes in as you, as you zoom in any further. Um, so the map also has, has a little bit of a key in the bottom for the, um, the different symbology. And we also have a small bar button of it that just shows when the um, defect was reported and how long ago it has been reported. Um, as I showed you earlier on, we've also got our defects by type in your board, showing the, the most common to the least common um, defects that are in there. And what I've just added at the end of the day today is a graph of extended defects reported um, by date over time. So we'll see over, um, over the left hand side of the graph here, we've got some defects that were reported in. April 2021, they're still outstanding, they're still open on the council system, all the way through to um, just under 80 defects that have been reported so far this month. And you can kind of see, um, you know, where defects being reported that are outstanding appear to be most common. Kind of the trend that I could identify was that when it comes to the end of the financial year, there appears to be a lot of defects that maybe haven't been dealt with yet. Um, particularly this time last year, there's a lot of defects that are still outstanding to the point where there's over a hundred of them. Um, but you could go in further um, to this and even split the bar graph down by defect type to see you know, if there's a particular trend as to what are the oldest defects are on, that are on here as well. You know, is that one really old pothole case like an outlier, or is it the case that? Um, there's lots of potholes that aren't being dealt with in the past, let's say, you know, missing signs are being picked up on really quickly. That would be the next thing that I would take for today and, and analyze a bit further is actually breaking down these outstanding def defects by category. Um, so I suppose, yeah, taking me on to the, what I would want to do next is I would want to, as I said, break it down into, into more kind of categories and find detail. Um, I'd like to automate this a bit further, so as well as just taking a snapshot over this weekend, every day we'll take a snapshot of, of what the state of the city is like, and that can then be compared over time once we build up a data set. So you can take what happened, say, on this day and compare it to a year's time and, and go, okay, so um, is that really old pothole still still outstanding on the system, or has it dealt has it been dealt with? You know, how are we cutting down on on response times and such as well? I suppose that's all I really got to present. Uh, does anybody have any questions or observations? Is it ramping up more and more, or has it gone down as maybe more people have started working from home, etc.? 
Sedgman of Beal. Yeah, the thing is you really need freedom of information. That information lies in the reports. But I think that that highlights the thing that you then have to know which report to find. And uh, that particular information needs to be laid out on the website. It's easier yeah. to find that, you know, which report is, does that information sit inside. Mm -hmm. No other questions? All right. Thank you, Jeff.